Hello, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Take 10 on Tuesday with the Tennessee Tribune. I'm Jason Lutz. Today I've invited two very special guests that are doing some amazing things in the Nashville community. I'm with Garmay Topa and Samuel Scales of the ADT program. Now this is a very important program that's at the Lloyd C. Elam Mental Health Center at Meharry Medical College. How are you guys doing? Great, how are you? Thank I'm you. great. Um, I'm just happy you took the time out of your schedule to come here and um, we want to let our viewers and our readers know about this important program you're doing. So maybe first you can tell us what does the ADT program stand for? It's a uh, adolescent treatment program at the Lois C. Elam Mental Health Center mm -hmm. and we cater to clients ages 13 through 18. Okay. It's a drug and alcohol program. So drug and alcohol program for uh, adolescents, which are 13, 18 year olds. Yes. yes. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about this program. Is this a uh, after school program or are they there all day? It's an after school program. Mainly it starts from 3 to 6, Monday through Thursdays um, during the fall and then 12 to 3 during the summer. Oh, wow. So you have to do it during the summer as well. Yes. We adjust it for summer breaks. Okay. <laughs> now, um, when the so I was about to say the students. Um, what, what do we do we call them? Patients, students, adolescents. What's the? We call them students. You call them students. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, how how on the average how does the average student get enrolled into this program? Once the students go through the juvenile court system, they put on probation, and then it's required for them to come and do drug and alcohol assessment. Mm. Or sometimes they come from the Department of Children's Services, or even a parent if they have any type of doubt in their mind or some concerns, they may bring their kids to enroll into the treatment program. Wow. So let's start with the first part. You mentioned the, um, they might actually be in the court system. Mm -hmm. So is this something that can be suggested by a judge rather than some actual jail time? Well, yeah, it's um, recommended by the judge once they go to court, the, court is, uh, the kid is put on probation. Once they put on probation, then the process starts from there. They will kind of identify resources in the community that um, a client can qualify for. And that's how they come into our program. Wow. Now, are we seeing um, an increase or a decrease in, in adolescents that have these kind of issues in Nashville? Um, I believe we're seeing a, an increase. I mean, you may be aware that how high Tennessee is rate for instance, for instance, about prescription drug abuse. Mm -hmm. uh, the adolescent problem just kind of mirrors what's going on in the adult world. Um, wow. As adults expose children to more drugs, as uh, marijuana is becoming legal in various states, and so um, a lot of factors are playing into the kids because they're seeing their role models, they're seeing it on the media. Um, again, various drugs are becoming more prominent, heroin's becoming more prominent in the state. And so the kids are going to reflect what the adult world is doing. Mm, that's interesting. So some is what the adults are doing, media, even their favorite celebrities. They're just seeing Absolutely. drugs and alcohol a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you, in your program, is this something that you actually talk about? Do you talk about peer pressure? Do you talk about being an individual? Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> month, we, since we go from Monday through Thursday, we do address actually some of these issues. Um, we talk about peer pressure, we talk about the negative effect of substances on the mind, the body, um, how it affects the family dynamics. Mm -hmm. We talk about anger management, we talk about cognitive changing behavior pattern, etc. once they come into the program and they cover a, a range of topics actually. Okay. And other things that are going to help the kid be successful when they get back in the community. Uh, we've had discussions on how to get a job and, and how to dress appropriately. Mm -hmm. uh, we just want these, give these kids what they need to be successful. So. Yes. Well, that actually made me think, um, now I'm wondering, how long is the program? Okay, I'm 14 years old and I'm in this program. Is it what the judge decided, what the parents decided? Do you assess them and decide? Well, the, the length of the program is actually two months and it depends on how well um, the client attendant is. They can do the two months and be gone. Mm. Yeah, but it's just really two months. Two months? Mm -hmm. Has there ever been someone who decided they might need to stay longer? <laughs> well, every night then you have that yes. because, um, you know, once in a while somebody may fall sick or something may happen, come up, you know, family issues. So, yeah, when they miss those days, then they have to make the days up. Now, are the, 
children all enrolled the two months does it all run so if i start we all start together and we finish together or people just come and go at during the time it's a rolling program so, it's it's okay. so we call an open group um, people may come in at any point you could be on week two i could be on week eight so. oh wow that's interesting that's very interesting now let's talk about what, what are some of the schools um that you actually pick up i heard now you actually offer some type of transportation right um are there particular schools in the Metro Nashville area where you'll pick the students up? Some of the schools to pick up from would be um, McGavick, Stratford, East Magnet, uh, Maplewood, Johnson Alternative, Corn Adult, etc. Okay. And so you will pick them up. Now, how, what about do you offer transportation for them to get home? Absolutely. If a, some parents may decide they want to pick the you know, children up after group or they may even offer to drop the kids off during or before group. So if the parents is not able to pick the child up after group, we do have a van that will take the child home if it's within seven mile <coughs> radius of the vicinity. Mm -hmm. If it's not, then they can either catch the bus on IBM Street or we can take them downtown at a bus station and issue them a bus pass to get home. Okay, and where exactly um, is the Lloyd C. Elam Mental Health Center located? So on the campus of Mary Medical College. I've uh, been there since 1977. 1977. Uh, the building, yes. Uh, wow. What, what are some other services you have there? Uh, we have a, a vast array of services, particularly for adults. I wish we had more for adolescent. And um, hi, all you legislators out there, if you want to find some <laughs> legislative dollars. So yeah, that would be nice. That would be nice. <laughs> but, uh, nice. We offer adult services, uh, residential. We have uh, 36 beds in the building. Uh, people that live there for 14 to 28 day program, 30 of those beds, both male and female. And then we have a specialized program. Uh, six of those beds are our Raybone program. It's a specialized program for women who are either pregnant and struggling with substance abuse and mental health issues, mm. or who have just delivered baby three months or less. And we have a daycare on site so that when they go to group or uh, attend therapy, they don't have to worry about taking care of the infants. Um, wow. Okay. Oh, those are some really good services. So that, that leads me to another question. This particular program, and even those others, do people, patients, clients pay for them, or does the government pay? It's funded by the Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services. Um, oh, okay. So the services are free. The services are free. Yes. Wow. Well, these are some great services that you're doing for the community. Um, do you have a website? We, yes, we do. Um, You'll want to go to Meharry's website and then choose uh, Department of Psychiatry. And then there'll be a menu and you can select the Elam Center out of that because we are under the Department of Psychiatry. Okay, that's and that's not a problem. I, I have the information right under here. Okay. So um, they'll definitely be able to find it. And um, before I let you go, I did want to know um, why these um, students and clients or children are there. Um, what are some of the group topics? Well, some of the group topics we have, um, we have anger management. Mm -hmm. We have co-occurring um, group topics that will deal with anything from panic attack, anxiety, mm -hmm. schizophrenic, etc. And then also we deal with conflict resolutions and how to resolve a conflict and what causes a conflict, dressing for success, budgeting, um, job applications. Wow. Yeah, because you had mentioned that earlier, um, but I didn't realize, so dressing for success, budgeting? Mm -hmm. Okay, see, that's something that I think a lot of us need. Yeah, the <laughs> money management is important. And then we have a program in the building called COPE, um, and they are an HIV education and outreach, and so uh, once a week, they come down and speak to the uh, Do they? students Do they? about HIV. And, and Do they have honest talk about sex? Yeah. And, yes. yes. Yes, they talk about stuff, um, STDs. STDs. Do we and find a, I guess there's, there's a connection between adolescents that are dealing with alcohol and drug abuse and STDs? There's a connection between anybody dealing with uh, alcohol and su substances because they lower our inhibitions and they, they uh, we're not thinking as, as smartly as we are when we're under the influence and so our risk taking is going to be a little higher. And that's the same thing with adolescents. Yep. And, so, wow. and the COPE team is able, they're all certified testers, so they can stick a swab in your mouth and 
tell you in uh, 10 minutes whether or not you have screened positive or negative for HIV. Oh, so you got uh, oh, it's 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. Yes. I remember it was 20 minutes. Wow, that's quick now. Mm -hmm. You don't have an excuse. <laughs> 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 um, and um, I did have one last question. Uh, and I usually ask people when we have on the show because we, we love Nashville, its city. You know, it's such a growing place and diversity and everything is really happening in Nashville. Are you finding support from the actual city uh, commu or the community itself? Or, or is that really the goal of this interview? The goal of the interview is, is to let Nashville and the surrounding counties know that we exist because right now our numbers are down and, and he's not on camera, but our boss is sitting in the corner over there and he, you know, he wants us to serve people. He, we need to. We're, we are a... Uh, a diamond in the rough over there. You know, really are. And we want to, you know, polish that up and, and let the community know about us and, and get people in there so that we can provide that treatment for them. Well, we're definitely going to do our best to um, help continue to tell the story and, and definitely spread it. We're going to let people, as many people as we know. And um, that also does remind me, is this available to other parts of Middle Tennessee or is it just in Davidson County? All our services are available to anybody that feels like they can utilize them within the state of Tennessee. Okay. The transportation, you know, would be an issue. Yeah. Yeah, obviously you couldn't pick a child up from Clarksville. No, no, but no. if somebody's willing to drop somebody off and pick Absolutely. them up, then they can do we'll it. Take okay, well, let's also remember that. You may not live actually in Nashville, but if you know a family that are in need of some of these services, um, spread the word. And I really appreciate it. Um, this is a really great program, and I'm excited to actually be a part of spreading the word. Thank you so much for today. Thank, Thank you, you so for much having, us. having us. Oh, definitely, definitely. And um, once again, you've been tuning to Take 10 on Tuesday with the Tennessee Tribune. We'll see you next time.